and he walked in to his wife having sex with another man hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm doing a story time since a lot of you guys have been asking me to tell you more about my life and what happens behind the camera since i apparently have an interesting life <laughs> but i posted on my snapchat and on my instagram what, what story time i should do and the majority of you guys have told me to do a paranormal activity or my first encounter with any ghost or paranormal activity but yeah let's start i was nine or eight years old uh my mom is a woman that works from nine to nine six days a week she only had one day to spend with me and my brother and she had a friend that would take care of us. She would take care, she started taking care of us since we were five, I was five, I'm sorry. I was five and my brother was one. We would spend half, half or mostly all of our time with her from nine to nine, like I tell you, or from when school was over to nine of the night. And she was like a mom to me, I love her. She is like a mom to me. She's my second mother. I won't say her name, but she was like my second mother and I love her to death. It was around summer break, I think. That one day, I was sitting in the couch, and I was turned around watching TV, and then I saw like a shadow run. But you, but the like the floor of the house, you could hear every footstep. So I just saw like in the corner of my eye something run. So I just went like, bitch, what the fuck? And it was weird because like I didn't hear nobody walking. Like you could hear like people try to sneak to the bathroom. I think like you you could hear it all. So I was like, why couldn't, it, why didn't it make a loud ass noise, you know? But I let it go. It wasn't really important to me. But as the t as the days went by, I started hearing the woman and her husband talk about how strange things have been going in the house and how the people that did li live there, as in people from the basement and the one man that was living next to her room that was renting that room, were saying how some like weird shit was going on, you know? I was just, you know, listening being nosy because i'm nosy and it was how the guy was the woman's husband was he was cooking and then he felt like something hurt him and it was like it was in this side of his shoulder this shoulder and somebody like not it was like a scratch but like it didn't look like a scratch because it didn't leave a mark but it just looked like a scratch he said it felt like something burned like something like it was like you will grab a knife with and you put it on top of the fire, I guess, and then you just scratch him like that, you know? I don't know if it makes sense. I'm sorry if it doesn't, but that's me explaining. And um, he showed, like, he, like, lowered his shirt. And then you could see a huge-ass bruise. It was really big. And then she was like, you're probably crazy because, like, how can, you know, it, it just didn't make sense. And for people that don't believe in ghosts, you guys are probably going to be like, he hurt himself somewhere or something, but sis let me tell you so that happened and then they stopped talking about it we went on as the day went we went out you know everything was fine but then the next day me and her were sitting in the sofas outside in the living room waiting for one of the kids uh parents because she did take care of more than one kid more than us like she took care of babies she was a, a nanny babysitter we were sitting down me and her were sitting down in the living room waiting for that woman and the guy the one that lived um across her in the room across her um he was a single man he was gay he he was really sweet um but he sat down and started talking because i'm i've always been mature and i talk like a mature person and i'm nosy so they started talking and then he was like girl i was washing the bathroom this sa saturday and he said he was like bent over and he was like scrubbing the bottom of the tub and then he felt like somebody like whispered into his ear you know and then he was just like bitch like what the hell and then he said that um he felt like somebody was was trying to grab him and then pushed him over and like he, he like went over you know and almost hurt himself but he like put his hands before he could even fall and then the woman was like are you sure you didn't slip like there was like water because he wears sandals so it was like wasn't there water 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 and like you slipped and then he was like no like i swear it was like a whisper and like a an aggressive push like somebody literally pushed me with like strength and then he said that when they pushed him 
he like went into his room and grabbed his bible he was very religious too he was a catholic he was praying to the virgin mary he grabbed his cross he was like god please like protect me from any bad spirit that's in the house like he just started going on and he went into his room and he said that after that day he would not want to be alone but then the woman started you know like what if something actually is going on in the house and i just don't want to believe it and she was asking me like oh like what should i do and i was like i'm scared a lot of more things were going on and it was like the spirit that was inside their house was in an, uh, um a nice spirit like you call it like a like a boo like i scary because i'm just a, a spirit like it was an aggressive aggressive spirit because it would hurt them like it would they would be bruised up for no reason and they would hear somebody like you know talking to them and all this and the dogs they had dogs i forgot to mention that they did have dogs they have three dogs and those dogs would bark out of nowhere you know they are really good trained dogs they're they're quiet they're sweet they're adorable i grew up with them but they started to bark out the cut like mainly at night they would just bark and she would get really mad she would get pissed off because it was annoying hearing dogs like what they were trying to sleep so that's when like she started to think more and more as in like damn something is going on in my house she did contact the uh, pastor but it was more more farther like more things happened before she contacted the pastor um they were it was a sunday i didn't go because i spend on uh, my sundays with my dad she told me the next day when i went that she was cleaning the room i think she did show me or showed me some pictures uh she did show me they had carpet in their room and they didn't like it because you know they had dogs the dogs would pee and they would have to clean it like it was harder for them to clean and you know every person has a dog you guys understand that it's hard for um for pee to come off of carpet so what they decided to do is to take all the carpet off and leave it with wood they had a big drawer or cabinet i don't know how you guys call it where you had their daughter's clothes in it so then they moved it and then they started to cut off the the carpet from there and the man said that when he started to lift the carpet up he like smelt like something like weird you know like ugh. and like as he like was ripping up the carpet and lifted it up there was blood mm -hmm. hella blood but like the blood that was like i don't know how to explain it to you it just was it was just old blood like blood that has been there for a long time and obviously they got pissed off because it was like the actual owners because they did rent that house the actual owners didn't have the audacity you know clean up the blood before putting carpet over it or i don't know something we don't really know what happened but like cleaning it up before selling it to somebody because it's that's nasty you know but then um they did put complaint to the um, landlord i think and that's when the creepy thing happens mm -hmm. they went to the landlord and they were like there was blood in under the carpet like that's nasty like we had they had to clean it up like you know blood is hard the the blood stain still stayed in the wood because blood is really hard for it to come off so and plus since it was there for a long time the blood did stain the wood but then the landlord told them that the blood was there for something that happened with the previous owners of that house and so the woman was like what do you mean you know she brought this she told them the story she said that before they even rented the house that the people that lived in the house was a couple and i don't know if it's two little girls two little boys or one in one i'm pretty sure it was two little two little girls that they lived there and that um they've lived there for like around uh, five years or no like around 10 five years i think in that house and like they were in the progress of buying the house you know one day he walked into the back door and his daughters were in the in the room and like he was telling them like Shh, i'm trying to surprise mommy you know and then um he walked in to his wife having sex with another man yeah with the, another man he felt betrayed of course he had he, he had a gun you know he grabbed the gun and the first two people that he killed were his two daughters apparently he killed his two daughters to um make like make the woman suffer before her, her being killed 
he shot them uh, in the face. So he first killed his two daughters by shooting them in the face. And then after, the guy that the woman was cheating on him with left. Like, he was scared. He, he left half naked, apparently. He, he was the one that told the story to the landlord. He did get shot. I'm sorry. He did get shot in his leg. But still by that, he just like left and he called the police and by the time he was um calling the police he said that he could hear the man just being like why the fuck would you do this to me i pay for the bills like i used to take care of my daughters like he was like you made me do this this to them like look at our daughters and the woman was just crying and then she apparently went on her knees and started begging and was just like please don't kill me i am sorry for doing what i did but please don't kill me and then he was just insulting her calling her a whore how like he could have how you know just angry and then he shot her pop dead by gone you know just dead and then um the man survived because he called the police the police came and before the police came he shot himself in he put the gun in his mouth and he shot himself so he died he also died i guess no i don't feel like he killed himself because of the oh i got betrayed but like he had no reason to live like he killed his two daughters and then killed his wife and he knew he was gonna get arrested for a long time so why just not kill yourself you know so he killed himself and the police came you know everything happened the guy the one that the woman was cheating on with is still alive he told the story he he said that he didn't know that the woman had a husband okay but he, he said that and that's what happened after the landlord told the woman and her husband that story they were absolutely shocked 